This is Year 6 Maths for Friday the 3rd of July and the learning objective is I can explore tangrams. Hi Year 6, welcome to Friday's Maths. Tangrams are tile puzzles. We're going to have a go at making our own today. We'll start with a four-piece tangram. You've got two options. You can either look very carefully at this picture and make a copy on squared paper or there's a template on the website that you can print out and cut out. If you are making a, your own tangram on square paper, when you're sure your pieces are exactly the same shape as the ones on this picture, then you can cut them out. If you look at the square carefully, it measures six squares by six squares, the large square. The lines that cut across it go from two squares down on the left side to two squares up on the right side and two squares in at the bottom to two squares out from the side at the top. Once you've made your tangram, here are some challenges. Can you use three pieces to make a triangle with a triangular hole in it? Can you use four pieces to make a square with a square hole in it? Can you make a rectangle with a square hole in it? And can you make a parallelogram? What about a trapezium? Now we're going to try a seven piece tangram. Again, you've got two options. You can either print out the template on the website and cut it out, or if you've got some square paper, you can draw your own tangram. If you're going to draw your own, look very carefully at this picture and make your copy on your square paper. When you're sure your pieces are exactly the same as the shape in the picture, then you can cut them out. Here are some challenges to try with a seven piece tangram. Can you make a triangle using two small triangles, one large triangle and the square? Can you make a rectangle using three pieces or four pieces, five pieces, six and seven pieces? Can you try making these animals, the butterfly, the camel and the giraffe? Finally, if you'd like an extra challenge, here's a paradox. A paradox means something that seems impossible or very tricky to explain. Can you use your pieces to make these two different bowls and explain why one of them has a gap in it and one doesn't? You'll find lots of other tangram puzzles to try if you have a look online. I hope you enjoy exploring with your tangram and have a really lovely weekend.